Like, so. yeah. <laughs> Okay. Do you want me to Are we both off? in the middle? Yeah. Oh, do you want... Just a, just a little bit. Just enough so... See, this is why you should be the director. I don't <laughs> and know I don't what know I'm doing. Glasses, so... I don't know. Hi guys, it's Holly and I am joined by Fiona. And today I'm going to be ans asking her some questions so you can get to know her a little bit better. No yeah, I don't really know how to start this, so I'm just going to go straight into it. Go for it, go for it. Okay, okay, so Fiona, these are all really serious tattoo related questions. So Fiona, if you were a biscuit, what kind of a biscuit would you be? Um, <laughs> so they are, <laughs> they are those French biscuits, they look yeah. like tiny boats. They're super soft, but because they have jelly inside, they're super sour as well. Oh. I think that's kind of... So it's kind like, of me, I'm a bit I'm a bit in between. Like I'm like super soft, soft but and sour. Yes. Oh wow. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, that's a good answer. They're I've called, never heard of these brands. They're literally called a uh, bucket de lu. Uh-huh. Um if you want to try, they're really good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah, <laughs> I when I think of you, I picture you as a shortbread biscuit, but those ones that come in a round with the sugar on top. Oh, yeah. So maybe if I'd tried one of these boat biscuits, then I would know. I'll bring you one. Okay. <laughs> So this one's actually a serious question. So, before you trained to tattoo, you were a graphic designer. Do you think that influenced your style of tattooing now? Um, definitely. At school, I learned to do um, small things that are balanced enough to look great as mm -hmm. on the small scale and then on the bigger one. So um, I think this is how I think about all my tattoos is I make them small first and then I push them again and that's like my whole training has been about that making small things work and then no I adapted to bigger pieces to bigger tattoos but yeah definitely so do you have a favorite thing that you like to tattoo um I <laughs> I haven't been tattooing for long enough to have a favorite thing to do yeah. but definitely if I draw something it's mostly flowers and animals that comes to me first. Yeah. So um, anything floral, animal, whatever, um, bring it on yeah. a little bit. Naturally kind of stuff. Yes. <laughs> um, what kind of art do you like to create in your spare time? I do, it's funny, I send postcards and I draw them. Um, That's so cute. I just, I like, uh, I like drawing it enough to draw it on my like uh, as a hobby on my spare time, but I also don't like to write emails, so I just <laughs> send by the post. And oh, okay, I, yeah, I, that's, I actually yeah. love it when I receive one. Yeah, I'm like, oh my god, someone yeah. thought about me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, um, so yeah, so I do that. That's really sweet. That's really nice. Thank you. Oh, that's really nice. So your style to me um, is very illustrative, and it reminds me of kids' books. Is that something that you've ever thought about? Like, would you like to illustrate for kids' books? I would, I would love to. I just, I don't want to write stories. So I'll have to adapt to a story that already exists because I don't have the, I don't have the words. Like, oh, when being about images and not about words. You like the drawing part and exactly. not the yeah, writing part. I'm just I can not relate. good with words, that's it. <laughs> I can relate. I find that when I do Instagram, I can post the picture and then I find thinking of the caption really difficult like the oh, talking part dude, like i had to yeah. i had to quit twitter because i don't i don't like it no it's like it's, it's, it's an actual weird. job to write yeah it's hard so i just I, it's hard in in everything i just yeah. don't like the only it. way i can do it is to say it out loud and write it down as i'm doing it yeah to say it i agree yeah yeah weird isn't it <laughs> um, <laughs> who is your favorite drag queen I know the answer and I'm so excited. Yeah, it's Kim Chi. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like very new to it. Yeah. And it's the, I don't know, I like Sasha Valor as well, but it's yeah. the only one that had had a whole u graphic universe about him. And I yeah. just loved everything from the first yeah. appearance as a as a cat lion, I don't know what, but it yeah. was a, yeah. she yeah. was absolutely amazing. So and cute. I know, yeah. Kim Chi. Yeah, Kim Chi. Definitely. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too, totally. So if you could get tattooed by anyone, who would it be? Uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I have s special things that I love and it's m special people and it's mostly people with illustrative style. Yeah. So it's gonna be um, 
I'm so sorry for the way I say it, but David Lagoon. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Kate Selkid, I've already been tattooed yeah. by her, she's amazing, but yeah. I, I just wish I could have another one. Her stuff's lovely. Um, people like Soflanda. I'd like illustrative artists. Yeah. Um, I would definitely go for that more than to neo traditional or traditional. Like, it's yeah. not my stuff. I yeah. just. Oh, God. Yeah, I have yeah. so many people in my head, and now like no one's coming. Yeah, <laughs> except those ones. Those are like my favorite ones. Yeah, me too. I'd like to be tattooed by all of them. <gasps> yeah, God. I know. Yes. Yeah. Let's just do that. Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, I dropped my question. Okay. Damn it. Now this is probably the most important question that I'm going to ask you. Oh my God. <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite sandwich? <laughs> oh, um, easy. Oh. It's ham and cheese. Yeah. But. It can't be from here. It has to be French one because okay. It has to be perfect baguette. It has to be perfect ham straight from the butcher, and yeah. it has to be the best cheese ever, which is Comté in the yeah. It's not like a. It's not like one of your um, horrible brie. The horrible it's English like cheese. Proper cheese. Okay, a real cheese. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Excuse yeah. me. Yeah, I'm sure I've had a Comté back in the day. I know that name. Um, I'm sure I've had it. I was back when I. Ate, did used to eat cheese, I was quite the cheese aficionado, so I'm sure mm. I have eaten it. It's like a coat. Um, it's quite sharp, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's like strong flavour, but it's just so good with yeah. it. Just, and butter and uh, like those small pickles, it's just... Oh yeah. That's I feel it. like we've learned a bit about you, what biscuit you <laughs> are. <laughs> Related all my questions, aren't they? Yeah, I don't you can mind. tell that that's what's on my mind. Yeah, that's just what food on my mind all the time as well. So yeah, I think that we got maybe that. that's why we get on <laughs> <laughs> so much. Okay. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video and getting to know Fiona a bit. Uh, I'm sorry about the sound; um, it's a bit echoey in here, and Ted is upstairs making a lot of noise. Having um, fun, having fun doing <laughs> Ted stuff. Um, if you want to book in with Fiona, I'm going to put her email address at the bottom of the video. And thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you. Bye, Thanks. guys.